today I'm in Rest Bay in Dorset and I'm looking at the Fusica 35EE. This was a camera which came out I think in 1964 and it really was an all singing camera because we have a range finder, we have automatic um, in that you put it on auto and the camera will automatically set its aperture according to the shutter speed I believe. It's also fully manual and it has shutter speeds from 1000 down to a fifteenth of a second. So it really is quite a sophisticated camera. The focusing is a little bit different as well. You get your photo range on the top and we can see it moves from 0.8 of a metre down to infinity. Uh, interesting thing when you put it on automatic this shutter suddenly um, moves upwards now I'm going to have a go and see if it works there is a slight problem with the viewfinder on this camera because the um, bright frame seems to have slipped never mind I can still see so let's just um, I'm going to start on automatic the meter seems to be working but it's a little bit all over the place. This is the O station and you can see someone's made it into a cafe with a cart, railway cart. Again, let's try a couple of images both on automatic and on manual. Those first two are on manual let's try automatic Personally, say this is the end of the line.
on closer inspection of the camera I now realize how it's got three exposure modes it has how I explained at the beginning got an automatic where when you put it on automatic the shutter button pops up then it has a semi-automatic and the semi-automatic is you set the um, shutter speed and the meter tells you a aperture and the third mode is what they refer to as manual, which I did understand when I was taking the photographs. And that is you set the shutter speed and aperture as you'd like. OK, so when it was sold, it was sold with three, um, three modes. And that was unique back in the early 60s. So a very interesting camera that I really enjoyed using and it did actually work far better than I expected. The only slight problem is how the um, frame has slipped a bit. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.